The Children's Crusade is the name given to a disastrous crusade by European Christians to expel Muslims from the Holy Land said to have taken place in 1212. The traditional narrative is probably conflated from some factual and mythical notions of the period including visions by a French or German boy, an intention to peacefully convert Muslims in the Holy Land to Christianity, bands of children marching to Italy and children being sold into slavery. A study published in 1977 casts doubt on the existence of these events, and many historians came to believe that they were not children but multiple bands of wandering poor in Germany and France, some of whom tried to reach the Holy Land and others who never intended to do so. Early versions of events, of which there are many variations told over the centuries, are largely apocryphal accounts. Traditional accounts, the variants of the long-standing story of the Children's Crusade have similar themes. A boy began preaching in either France or Germany claiming that he had been visited by Jesus and told to lead a crusade to peacefully convert Muslims to Christianity. Through a series of supposed portents and miracles he gained a considerable following, including possibly as many as 30,000 children. He led his followers south towards the Mediterranean Sea, in the belief that the sea would part on their arrival, allowing him and his followers to march to Jerusalem, but this did not happen. They were sold to two merchants who gave free passage on boats to as many of the children as were willing, but they were actually either taken to Tunisia and sold into slavery by the cruel merchants or died in a shipwreck on San Pietro Island off Sardinia during a gale. Some may have failed to reach the sea, dying or giving up from starvation and exhaustion. They were betrayed by some of the adults in the group. Modern accounts according to more recent researches there seem to have actually been two movements of people in 1212 in Germany and France. The similarities of the two allowed later chroniclers to combine and embellish the tales. Germany, Nicholas of Cologne in the first movement, Nicholas, a shepherd from the Rhineland in Germany who possessed an extraordinary eloquence, tried to lead a group across the Alps and into Italy in the early spring of 1212. Nicholas promised that the sea would dry up before them and allow his followers to cross into the Holy Land. Rather than intending to fight the Saracens, he said that the Muslim kingdoms would be defeated when their citizens converted to Christianity. His disciples went off to preach the call for the crusade across the German lands, and they massed in Cologne after a few weeks. Splitting into two groups, the crowds took different roads through Switzerland. Two out of every three people on this ghastly journey died, while many others returned to their homes. About 7,000 arrived in Genoa in late August. They immediately marched to the harbour, expecting the sea to divide before them. When it did not many became bitterly disappointed. A few accused Nicholas of betraying him, while others settled down to wait for God to change his mind. Since they believed that it was unthinkable he would not eventually do so, the Genozor authorities were impressed by the little band, and they offered citizenship to those who wished to settle in their city. Most of the would-be crusaders took up this opportunity. Nicholas refused to admit defeat and traveled to Pisa, his movement continuing to break up along the way. He and a few loyal followers continued to the Papal States, where Pope Innocent III treated them kindly. The remaining ones departed for Germany after the pontiff exhorted them to be good and to return home to their families. Nicholas did not survive the second attempt to cross the Alps. Back home his father was arrested and hanged under pressure from angry families whose relatives had perished while following the child. Some of the most dedicated members of this crusade were later reported to have wandered to Ancona and Brindisi, none are known to have reached the Holy Land. France, Stephen of Cloy's The Second Movement was led by a 12-year-old French shepherd boy named Stephen of Cloy's, who claimed in June that he bore a letter for the King of France from Jesus. Large gangs of youth around his age were drawn to him, most of whom claimed to possess special gifts of God and thought themselves miracle workers. 
attracting a following of over 30,000 adults and children. He went to St. Denis, where he was seen to cause miracles. On the orders of Philip II, advised by the University of Paris, the people were implored to return home. Philip himself did not appear impressed, especially since his unexpected visitors were led by a mere child, and refused to take them seriously. Stephen, however, was not dissuaded, and began preaching at a nearby abbey. From St. Denis, Stephen travelled around France, spreading his messages as he went, promising to lead charges of Christ to Jerusalem. Although the church was sceptical, many adults were impressed by his teaching. Still, few of those who initially joined him possessed his activeness. It is estimated that there were less than half the initial 30,000 remaining a figure that was shrinking rapidly, rather than growing as perhaps anticipated. At the end of June 1212, Stephen led his largely juvenile crusaders from Vendôme to Marseille. They survived by begging for food. While the vast majority seemed to have been disheartened by the hardship of this journey and returned to their families. In the arts Many works of art reference the Children's Crusade. This list is focused on works that are set in Middle Ages and focus primarily on a retelling of the events. For other uses see Children's Crusade. La Croissade des Enfants by Marcel Schwab. La Croissade des Enfants, a seldom performed oratorio by Gabriel Pirnay, featuring a children's chorus. Based on La Croissade des Enfants by Marcel Schwab. Children's Crusade, a contemporary opera by R. Murray Schaefer, first performed in 2009. Cruciade Copia Law, a play by Lucien Blagger based upon the Crusade. The Children's Crusade, children's historical novel by Henri Tries, includes a dramatic account of Steve and of Cloy's attempting to part the sea at Marseille. The Gates of Paradise, a novel by Jerzy Andreevsky centers on the Crusade, with the narrative employing a stream of consciousness technique. The Gates to Paradise, a film version by Andre Wajda of the Jerzy Andreevsky novel. Slaughterhouse Five, a novel by Kurt Vonnegut, is subtitled The Children's Crusade. Crusade in Jeans is a 1973 novel by Dutch author Thea Beckman and a 2006 film adaptation about the Children's Crusade through the eyes of a time traveler. The Children's Crusade, a play by Paul Thompson first produced at the Cockpit Theatre, London by the National Youth Theatre. A Long March to Jerusalem, a play by Don Taylor about the story of the Children's Crusade. An Army of Children, a novel by Evan Rhodes that tells the story of two boys, a Christian and a Jew, partaking in the Children's Crusade. Children's Crusade, a song by Sting from his 1985 album The Dream of the Blue Turtles. Lionheart, a historical fantasy film loosely based on the stories of the Children's Crusade. Children's Crusade, a song by Tony O'Kay from his 1988 album Notes from the Lost Civilization. Children for Sale, a Gumby episode featured in the 1995 film Gumby, the movie The Fire of Roses, a novel by Gregory Rinaldi. Crusade of Tears, a novel from the series Journey of Souls by C.D. Baker. Crusade in Jeans, a.k.a. A March Through Time, a motion picture predicated on an intentional travel by a soccer-playing boy from the modern Netherlands to the legendary German Children's Crusade, led by Nicholas. The Crusade of Innocence, novel by David George suggests that the Children's Crusade may have been affected by the concurrent crusade against the Cathars in southern France, and how the two could have met. The Scarlet Cross, a novel for youth by Carleen Bradford. 1212, Year of the Journey, a novel by Kathleen McDonnell. Young adult historical novel. Sylvia, a novel by Bryce Courtney. Follows a teenage girl during the Crusades. Bibliography. De Vries, Kelly. Teenagers at War During the Middle Ages, in the Pre-Modern Teenager, Youth in Society, 1150-1650, ed. by Conrad Eisenbickler, pp. 207-223, Dixon, Gary, Stephen of Cloyes, Philip Augustus, and the Children's Crusade of 1212, in Journeys Toward God. 
Pilgrimage and Crusade, ed. Barbara N. Sergeant Bohr, 83-105, Dixon, Gary, The Children's Crusade, Medieval History, Modern My History, 2008, Palgrave Macmillan, ISBN 9781-4039-9989-4, Munro, Dana C., The Children's Crusade, American Historical Review 19, 516-524. JSTOR 1835076. Queenan, Bernard. The Evolution of the Pied Piper. Children's Literature 7. 104-114. Russell, Frederick. Children's Crusade. Dictionary of the Middle Ages. 1989. ISBN 0-684-17024-8. Red, Peter. The Children's Crusade of 1212, Journal of Medieval History, 3, Summary of the Sources, Issues and Literature, Shek Raphael, Did the Children's Crusade of 1212 Really Consist of Children? Problems of Writing Childhood History, The Journal of Psychohistory 16, 176-182, External Links Chronica Regeri Coloniensis, A Contemporary Source, from the Internet Medieval Sourcebook, The Children's Crusade, from History House, Cardini Franco, Del Nero Domenico, La Crociata dei Fancioli, Junta Editor, 1999, ISBN 8809217705.